From this basement, Elena Khadziliadu has scaled the heights of the Karate World Championships. She became the reigning champion in the women's 68-plus kilo category last month in Madrid. If karate were an Olympic event now, the Greek government would pay out a $100,000 bonus for her gold medal. But karate won't be an Olympic sport until 2020 in Tokyo. That leaves Khadziliadu's father, who is also her trainer, with unpaid debts from financing her career. If I were Turkish or French or Italian, I'd get 50 and dollars and $100,000 a year. I'd be given a car and a house and I wouldn't have a job to do. I'd be covered for life because I contribute by competing for my country. But because I'm from Greece, I had to leave my country to work and pay for my tournaments. And when I came back with medals, I got nothing. Anna Korakaki has at least earned her bonus as Greece's Olympic gold medalist in the 25-meter pistol event. She trains in this disused tobacco warehouse. It's hot in summer, cold in winter, and the electricity from a nearby business often cuts out. But it's better than what she had before. I had a small metal box which we filled with hot coals. I would use it to warm my hands every two or three shots because they were stiff as planks. This was a basement and the temperature was below zero in winter. In the old quarry shack we wired up red and green lights to the paper target behind me to simulate the lights used on Olympic targets. There was no power so we wired the lights up to the car battery. Sometimes the problem isn't money but state negligence. The Olympic shooting centre behind me contains hundreds of electronic targets and Korakaki could have benefited greatly from the use of one. But the entire facility was given over to police special forces after the 2004 Games. Olympic athletes have been excluded from it. The government's sport budget of $70 million is spent mostly on keeping existing facilities open. My wish would be for sport federations to spend more of their time building facilities for younger athletes so as to produce a base from which champions might spring up. It's not easy for the government to go and build a facility in whichever area a champion arises in a given sport. Korakaki and Khadziliadu are both coached by their fathers and nurtured by their families and they feel deeply patriotic. Until further financial support arrives, family and country will have to take them as far as they can go. Jamsaropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.